נשמר בפנים, וכולם אומרים תפילות, ואני מלא קללות. אם יש גם עדן, או מקום מסתור עכשיו, הבקיא אותי את כאבי, וקחי אותי אליו. אמא, אני רוצה בנפש פנימה, לחזור הביתה אל ביתי, כמו שהיה בילדותי. קורא לך אמא, אני רוצה... אם יש גן עדן או מקום מסתור עכשיו, חבקי אותי ואת פצעיי וקחי אותי אליו. אמא, אני רוצה בנפש פנימה לחזור הביתה אל ביתי כמו שהיה בילדותי. קורא לך, אמא, אני רוצה בנפש פנימה לחזור אליי ואל דמותי שלא אצא מדעתי. me and my wounds and take me there. Mom, deep in my soul, I want to return to myself, to the same place from my childhood. I call you, Mom, deep in my soul, I want to return to myself, so I don't go insane. Maya, I think you're muted. Welcome to our Yom HaZikaron ceremony. The second of Iyar is the day of remembrance for Israel's fallen soldiers and victims of terror. We would like to thank you all for joining us today for our tekets. Yom HaZikaron is a general national commemoration of the memory of those who fell in Israel's military campaigns and terrorist attacks. whether as soldiers or civilians in Israel or abroad. For the bereaved families, it is merely an official date. For them, every day is a memorial day, a birthday, a wedding anniversary, the last day of leave, the last Seder together. And every moment has fragments of longing embedded within it. Yom HaZikaron conveys the message that we owe Israel's independence to those who sacrifice their lives for it. The prominent feature of the day is the sound of the siren that is played throughout Israel. During the two minute long siren, Israel comes to a standstill to commemorate those we have lost. As part of Am Israel, let us take a moment and stand silent as we hear the siren in honor of Yom HaZikaron.
You may be seated. I will now light the candle in memory of Israel's fallen soldiers and victims of terror. The flag will be lowered as a mark of respect in their memory. I will now read Iskor, which translates to remembrance. It is a Memorial Day prayer for Israel's fallen soldiers and victims of terror. My uncle Simcha was killed in the Six Day War in 1967 in Nablus. He was only 29 years old. Iskor Am Israel, et banav uvnotav haneemanim vehaamitzim, chayalei tzva haagana li Israel, וכל לוחמי המחתרות וחטיבות הלוחמים במערכות העם ואנשי קהילות המודיעין, הביטחון, המשטרה ובתי הסוהר אשר חירפו נפשם במלחמה על תקומת ישראל וכל מי שנרצחו בארץ ומחוצה לה בידי מרצחים מארגוני הטרור. יזכור ישראל ויתברך בזרעו ויאבל על זיו העלומים וחמדת הגבורה וקדושת הרצון ומסירות הנפש של הנספים במערכה הכבדה. יהיו חללי מערכות ישראל עטורי הניצחון חתומים בלב ישראל לדור ודור. Erin Tendler was born on September 26, 1979. She was Israel's first female helicopter flight mechanic soon after a court allowed women to serve in combat positions, as well as the first female Israeli soldier to die on active duty. Tendler was killed on August 12, 2006, during the 2006 Israel-Lebanon conflict, along with four other crew members, when their helicopter, Yasur, was shot down upon lifting off in Lebanon. A fund was established in her name to help other young women become flight mechanics, and a beautiful garden was built in her memory.
ゃないか。シャバコは今だ。Abi mı da ben, ne abi da da su? We are fortunate to have received a video from Karen's mom, Mrs. Rivana Tenler, telling us a little more about Karen and what a special, courageous young woman she was. For so 15 years have passed. Since uh, she fell in uh, war, we, the parents, Rivana and Dan, and her brother Nadav, miss her, and we still hope that her memory will be blessed. I also want to uh, uh, say that we commemorate her. We have a special park, a special garden, a sport garden dedicated to uh, Karen. We miss our daughter very much, but I want to say to read what Hannah Senesh said about people like Karen. There are people whose brilliance of their memory shines even after they are gone. And so was our Karen. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak about our Uh, daughter, our heroine. This year, year, we are commemorating Yom HaZigaron as the world begins to heal from COVID-19. We thought it would be appropriate and very important to honor an IDF military medic. Balada La Chavesh will be sung by Ida Narly and Jonah Katz, played by Luke Finkelstein. Balada La Chavesh is a song about a brave medic who was seriously injured while treating an injured soldier in the battle. The medic did not stop as he selflessly attended to the bleeding soldier at the cost of his own life. This injured soldier says, I will not forget you to the day you die. Today is the day I die, replied the medic. I <laughs> This year, we are, com sorry, 
Ohad Dadi Nisim, son of Aviva and Yitzchak, was born on Monday, May 23rd, 1974, in Ashdod, where he began to embroider his dream and also to make it come true to be an actor. He seriously and firmly and proved to be a man of principles and ability to find the good and beautiful in everything. Ohad dreamed get that. of standing on stage and acting from a very young age. One of Ohad's friends at the acting workshops says that as soon as he took the stage, his uniqueness and great talent were evident. During the productions, he gave his all and was always ready to reach out for help. In the IDF, Ohad overcame difficulties during his service with the help of his sense of humor and his optimistic vision. When he joined the medics course, he delved into the medic profession, treated the sick and wounded with endless devotion and great human warmth. We will now hear from Ohad's brother, Ron, who now resides in Tel Aviv with his family. Hello. My name is Rani Sim, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about my youngest brother, Ohad Nisim, that was killed in 1994 in a combat. Ohad was the youngest of three brothers, Gil, Ran, and Ohad. We grew up in the city of Ashdod, in the south, southwest part of Israel, near to the beach. Ohad, or Daddy, as we used to call him, was a happy boy that loved life and had many friends. As he grew up, Daddy became interested in acting and he wanted very much to be an actor. During his high school years, he had joined an amateur theater group and invested many hours rehearsing and practicing of the plays they did. I remember hearing him practicing his lines, making all kinds of voices and accents. Really, he loved acting. All his life was acting and making jokes and making people laugh and smile. I think because of that, he had a lot of friends and everybody loved him. In 1992, when he was about 18 years old, he graduated from high school and hoped he can get accepted to the IDF theater group. But eventually, he had decided to volunteer the paratrooper division in IDF, unit called Hatsam Hanim, and became a combat medic, what we called Chovesh Kravi. On September 8, 1994, his unit was patrolling near Kibbutz Manara in the north part of Israel, where they were attacked and Ohad was killed. He was killed by a direct hit of a missile from Hezbollah. Ohad had only 20 short years, but he managed to act in place. Had a girlfriend who he loved and she loved him very much and made a lot of friends remember him, many of them are still in contact with us every day, every year, even after 27 years since he was killed. Hello. And finally, we would like to remember a member of the Akiba Bar community, Yuval Harel. He was born on October 7, 1962 in Holon, but during his parents' year-long relocation to the U.S. in the late 1970s, Yuval attended our school. He was a gifted child who loved music and carried joy with him wherever he went. Sadly, Yuval was tragically killed in the First Lebanon War in 1982 when a missile hit his tank. We encourage you to walk by Yuval's memorial and place a pebble or a flower on his plaque in his memory. His memorial is located near the Mitchell building before the circular driveway.
I would like to invite Ms. Sussman to recite Kaddish. Yit Gadal, Vit Gadash, Shemir Abbas. Yama, Divra, Gute, Yam Lich, Mahute, the Chayahon, of Yamehon, of Haye, the Fogli, Israel, Adela, Rizman, Hariv, Yimru, Amen. Ohei Shmei Ravam Barach Ha'olam Omeo Maya Vitbarach, Vishabach, Vipaar, Tromam, Vinafsei Vitadar, Vitala, Vitalal, Shmei Dikrusha, Sirchu Le'ela min kol v'rchata v'shirata Tush v'chata v'nechvata da'amiran v'yama v'imru, Amen Ohei Shlama Rabba min Shemaya v'chayim aleinu v'alcho Yisrael v'imru, Amen Osa shalom de mamav, hu ya sa shalom, alenu vi al koisrael, vimru, amen. Rabbi Akiva Weiss will recite El Malera Hamim. El Malera Hamim. Shochen Bamromim Hamze Menuchon Echona Kanve Ashkino Bemalo Kidoshim Teorim Vigiburim Kizoar Arakio Nenishmaot Chayalei Tzva Hagana L'Yisroel Shenaflu B'Milchamot Yisroel V'Pulot Hagana Tagmol U'Vitachon U'Vyed Milu Tavkidom Nishmot, Kolochame, Hamachtarot, Vahativot, Olochami, Bemarotam, Shecher Fun, Afsham, Lamut, Al Kidushat Hashem, Oviezra, Telohem, Achot, Israel, Aviu. Nitkumat Auma Vehamdina Veligula Taret Vir Haelohim Bavu Shanumit Palim Niloinish Matam Lachen Baharahamim Yastirem besetek nafav li olamim Vitzror, vitzror achayim et nishmatam Adunai hunach alatam Began eden tehem menuchatam Vianuchu b'shalom al mishkabam ותעמוד לכל ישראל זכותם, ויעמדו לגורלם לקץ הימין, ונאמר אמן. in concluding today's tekes with Hatikva, Israel's national anthem.
תם טקס יום הזיכרון למערכי, לחללי מערכות ישראל ופעולות האיבה, יום הזיכרון סרמוני for Israel's fallen soldiers and victims of terror has come to an end. We would like to thank you for joining us and we would like to send a special thank you to uh, Mrs. Rivana Tendler, Karen's mom, who is here with us today, and Mr. Ron Nisim, uh, daddy's brother, who is also with us today. Thank you and have a good rest of the day. Thank you. Any of our special guests who want to stay on for a moment and chat with Maya, I will not close the room immediately. I also see Jonah here. Thank you very much, Jonah. And uh, Rabbi Weiss, thank you so much for this. Okay, and thank you so much to Maya Rosenberg and the students. And um, I can put in the chat if there's somebody who needs to speak with one of us. Otherwise, I will uh, close the room in just another minute.